hello guys uh, in this video let us see what is a class method and what is a static method and do some examples so to do the first example i am importing date from date time so from a date time import date so what does that date class contain so the date class in the date time module it will have a date function to create a custom date from the year month and day of the month so i will run it so now let us see what is a class method so a class method is a method that is bound to the class and not the object of the class so it means that that method is integrated with the class and not the object and the next is that it has the access to the state of the class it means that whenever there are few variables inside that class it can access it and change it so that's the next line so when uh, coming to the static method it is also a method that is bound to the class and not the object of the class but a static method can't access or modify the class state so if it cannot modify the class state why we need to keep it inside so it's because it is present in a class because it makes sense for the method to be present in in the class so just make some sense it's kept inside the class so after uh, comparing those two definitions let us come to a general conclusion so since a static method will not have any access to the state of the class it knows nothing about the class state they are utility type methods that take some parameters and work upon those parameters you just pass some parameters it will just give some output so on the other hand class methods must have a class as a parameter we use at the rate of class method decorator in the python to create a class method and we use at the rate of static method decorator to create a static method in python so i have already written a simple example here i have defined a class i defined init and then i have written at the rate of class method so a class method to create person object by birth year so i have created it i have declared but here when you are declaring the class method you have to write cls so it's a parameter to that syntax and when you are writing this normal method as it not a class method it's a static method you don't need to write that cls so you can just directly pass the parameters and you will return the output but in this case you need to write at the rate of the static method decorator so let me run this yeah it's run so uh, what uh, what's the use we have to use each of them so we generally use class method to create factory methods and uh, what they return factory methods return class objects to for different use cases and when we when will we use uh, static methods we use static methods to create utility functions it means that when we want something to do with the method we want addition subtraction we don't need to uh, tag it with the class we can directly uh, do it with static method rather than going for class methods so uh, this is another example so this is the syntax you write class new class define the class name so write at the rate of class method decorator so this is a syntax for declaring the method def, def name of the function and first, first argument must be a cls class and the second argument uh, they can provide multiple arguments based on your requirement and the body of the function and return the value finally and the syntax for static method is class new class and the decorator is at the rate of static method and after that define the method so def name of the function and arguments you don't need to provide any cls here and write the body of the function and return the value so as we have seen the syntax and also we, we also have a function declared above let us see how to run this so what's happening person 1 equals to person of mayank comma 21 so we are passing it so it will take mayank and 21 and person 2 equals to person dot from birth year mayank comma 1996 so when you pass person of mayank comma 21 what will happen 
so it will it will execute init function init the method in the class person so by default you don't need to do, use dot or something when you do, provide that and do nothing then it will directly go to uh, init and execute it so we have given name and age so name is mayank and age is 21 and after that when you want to ex uh, access the from birthier method you can directly write uh, person dot just so it's the notation person dot from birth year of mayankama 1996 you provided those two so those two will be assigned so written class name comma date dot today dot year minus year so after that what we are doing we are printing the age so in the first case it will how are how we are um, calling person so we we said that this static method is not integrated with the or it, it cannot have the access to the class class variables also so it will do its calculation with its own value but when we come to the class method it have the access to the class value so we have done calculations based on that here from but when so it will return the age so there are two different values because uh, one can access the class variables and another cannot access it so this is another example so example 2 so in the example 2 we are declaring this uh, according to the syntax class class name year of birth is 1992 we define a print age so the age is 2022 uh, it's 2022 minus class dot year of birth so whatever year of birth is 1992 since it is a which class since you are passing CLS, you can blindly say it is a class method. So it's a class method. So it has the access to this year of birth. So it has access. So it will access it and return the age. So we are printing it out to the output. So it's 28. So let us see a static method example also a simple syntax. So class, class your name and you depend a function def of addition of a comma b. So you can directly identify that it's not a class method so what's it the so static method so you are just passing the arguments and returning the output so st simple math dot addition you depend a variable and you are calling it a static method of simple math dot addition you uh, you return the reference so after that you are just passing the arguments and you will get the output so the result is 15. hope you understood what uh, is a static method and what is a class method thank you